So I've done several videos, as I said, about the Scottish and how I believe the McLeods have the uh, Holy Grail, even though they never would say that uh, because of the implications of that, the McLeod clan, I mean. I think, though, that all, I'm going to bring this all circle home to the Scottish Rite because the Scottish Rite and the Freemasons and then that coming to America, and that's why we have that everywhere, that symbol. So the Freemasons, like right now, they, they've been very out there with themselves. They're, they're saying, you know, we've opened our library. Although their library, it's not like there's a whole, there's a, a lot of their mystery knowledge is stuff that cannot be written down. And I, I actually, I understand that because it goes to how I've said that I can't explain the Holy Spirit to people. Nobody can. It's You have to experience it. But once you experience it and you know what that is and you build on it, you you can't, you, there's no way to write it down and describe it like people say it's a voice, but it's really not a voice you hear. But there's no, that's the way God does it. I mean, really, he does it that way so that people will go down the path to find the mystery. But instead, we live in this lazy world that says, no, I want to do it easier than that. So I'll just get stoned and see if I can get a spiritual experience <laughs> because I'm too lazy to, you know, get to know God. So... Uh, I understand why a lot of their mystery teaching, a lot of it is likely because the, the person does have to be at a certain place. I just don't think they're they're the people, you know, that should. I, I think maybe what started out it is definitely something good because the Scottish Rite, it, you know, that goes, to, just let me hear, I'll tell you what, what it says, just basically. And, and, well, and I would say one of the biggest problems, the coldies, that I mentioned in a video earlier made was that they they let themselves um, become uh, under Rome control. So then you no longer were serving God. I get it. You were overwhelmed, but I mean, it is the Catholic Church. Look at what they've done to the world. Um, I mean, it's the Catholic Church that will be used to bring everything under one uh, world religion if the globalists are um, successful, which they won't be. So the Scottish Rite is a branch of Freemasonry that's, that offers a series of 29 degrees beyond the three degrees of the Blue Lodge. And the Blue Lodge is entered apprentice, uh, fellow craft, and master mason. Uh, these degrees provide a deeper exploration of Masonic principles, teachings, and ideals. Masonic means Messiah. I just think really what your groups do, you're more focused on your entrepreneurship and you're more focused on money and wealth and all that and you're not interested in truly knowing God. So I think that's how your organization has become the problem in the world when really it was meant to be a, of a help in the world. It would be good if you guys could acknowledge that, but I, I doubt it. You, I doubt any of your groups will. Uh, philosophy and purpose. Scottish Rite Freemasonry is committed to the values of integrity, justice, service to humanity, tolerance, devotion to country, and reverence for God. None of that do you, I mean, maybe some of you in those sects do, but really, no, it's become more about serving yourselves, becoming conformed to the world, and it's because as the Scottish Rite has expanded, or the Freemasons have expanded, this is what you get. And this is how you then get in your country Association of Nursing, Association of Medicine, Association of Psychiatric, Association of Education, Association of this, Association of that. Nothing but layer after layer after layer of bullshit that doesn't enlighten anybody is just about, about having a bunch of degrees, whether it's from Freemasonry or Scottish Rite or the university down the road. It becomes more about your, your gaining wealth and conforming to this world than it becomes about knowing the true almighty God, which is why then the whole world is in disaster right now. Um, because nothing, you're, what you were committed to, the values, you have gone way off track. And likely what it is is because so many of you people in these orders you serve the people to help the people that are in your order get into these big positions. So you've lost sight of what your true mission is, which is what I noticed with all these organizations and associations. Um, its ultimate goal is to promote human progress. Absolutely has done the opposite. I, I'm not trying to be mean. It's just that's what happens. This is too much. 
So th this is how I see it. The Scottish right, the Scots being the chosen people, they likely created the right because they have some advanced knowledge, let's say, some higher power knowledge in a way, so to speak, that anybody can have. It's just you have to go down the path. Like, so it's not because they're Scots. It's be the location doesn't matter. My point is, is that so what started out as something good, like say, okay, we know there's certain people, we know that we have these, this fairy flag, we know we have these certain things that go back in our history to where we do truly understand that God, but yet you can't really write it down. You can't write the mysteries down. Nobody can. It's only, people can only gain that if they go down the path. And likely your organizations were meant to help people down that path. But what you became was an organization to just fulfill the people in your organization, getting into the highest of positions, making um, entrepreneurship the most important thing under the sun. I mean, more important than God. I mean, really, that's all I see when I watch some of these shows. It's about entrepreneurship, and you can do like me. And it's like, do any of you people know God? You seem to think you do because you have wealth, but that doesn't mean you do. And, and you've lost sight of what your purpose is. And then, because you get so powerful, and that power is intoxicating for anybody, it doesn't matter who it is, this is what's been created and it's been created within the world. I don't know if people can follow that, what I'm trying to say, but your very progress of wanting to promote human progress, no, you've, if, unless you look at human progress as all these wealthy elites, but that has done nothing for the little people, has it? Because all of the people that you have heading up every industry are people that are not illuminated, as I said last night. They have no understanding of themselves or any kind of um, even doing the right thing, even though they would tell themselves they do. They don't because they don't even think for themselves. That's what you have heading up everything. That's what we have all over our government. That's the reason for four years the Republicans have not been able to do one fucking thing because they, they have an inability to understand God. And, in a, and so when you don't understand God, you'll just go along with whatever everybody else tells you to do. You won't be able to stand up and stand in the face of something and say, no, this is wrong. And even then, sometimes you may not have the strength to do it, but usually you will do it. So this is how you lose sight of it, is all these orders. So I will at least give the Freemasons credit. They're trying to you know, they're trying to amend their ways. But in many ways, those mystery teachings aren't something that are written in a book because they can't be written. You know them only if you have them. Or you only know them because you go down the path. And it has nothing to do with being in the right order. And the biggest thing that's been, been, been you know, and maybe some of these orders were created because of things like the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church is a disgrace. I don't care what this world, I don't care what any politician, any media, I'm sorry if that hurts parishioners. They have abused children throughout their history. That should be the obvious fruit on the tree that tells you, you will know them by their fruits, yet nobody wants to look at that and everybody wants to promote that here in America as if that's a legit church and it's, it's it's, it's nauseating in every way. But every country has succumbed to the Roman Empire, the Roman Catholic Church. So um, they're not just misguided. They were a tool to keep people from knowing the, the mystery, the God, going down the path. They have trained the entire world that just go to church every Sunday, and then you'll somehow be close to God. But I'll tell you right now, God doesn't know you. So... All of the organizations that were to help either succumb to the Catholic Church or they create secret orders or even orders that aren't secret and their intentions are to help humanity, but they always go astray. And what ends up leading them all astray is power and money and selfishness. All of this is the problem. They have lost sight of what is most important in this life, whether you want to follow it or not. And the most important thing is to know self, you must know God. That's what's the most enlightening thing and would have prevented all this.